25 year old woman presents to your office complaining of painful swelling in her left cough she denies any trauma to the leg and has no significant medical history the only medication that she takes is the oral contraceptive pill which she has been using for 3 months physical examination reveals uh, ertimatus tender swollen left calf with an increase in calf pain with a sharp dorsi flexion of the left ankle which is nothing but called as a positive homan sign you tell the patient that you suspect that uh, she has a deep venous thrombosis in her left calf and you send her to the emergency room for the lower extremity doppler ultrasound and possible anticoagulation therapy in addition you inform the patient that she may need evaluation for the genetic disorder that might predispose her to the hypercoagulable state actually the case is end by like uh, anticoagulation therapy this is an extra clue so that you know you can answer because we are talking about uh, predispose her to the hypercoagulable state age is 25 years what are the buzzwords in our cases like you know painful swelling in her left calf is one of the important buzzword and the only medication what she takes is the oral contraceptive pill is also a buzzword in this case positive homan sign deep vein thrombosis in her left calf right so all these indicates what's the case we are talking about it is the factor 5 leiden mutation we can see so the genetic defect for the factor 5 leiden is caused by an autosomal dominant mutation autosomal dominant mutation in the gene for factor 5 on the chromosome 1 this is very very important for you to note autosomal dominant mutation in the gene for factor 5 which is located on the chromosome 1 so one of the major regulators of the coagulation cascade if we go back to our physiology concept is the protein c right so after binding with the protein s because protein c binds with the protein s so after bind with binding with the protein s protein c degrades factor 5a as well as 8a of the coagulation cascade thereby resulting in the cessation of the coagulation so whenever there is a factor 5 laden mutation that results in the production of a mutated factor 5 this mutated factor 5 remember that it is resistant to degradation by the protein c so because of the mutated factor 5 that is resistant to the degradation by the protein c the cessation of the coagulation is impaired and a hypercoagulable state manifests that is the pathophysiology behind factor 5 leiden mutation which is autosomal dominant mutation in the gene for the factor 5 which is located on the chromosome number 1 so if you talk about the clinical manifestation because of the hypercoagulable state the patient is at a very high risk for the development of deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism and this risk is increased with the pregnancy recent surgery cancer and also the use of oral contraceptives all these so the treatment includes consider anti coagulant therapy with the comadin derivatives and very important thing is avoid oral contraceptive use so this is a very important uh, case for your exam factor 5 leiden mutation 